Hey, what's up guys? Mid City here back in with another video and today we are taking a look at Frostborn Co-op Survival. Now what is Frostborn? This is a obviously a co-op multiplayer survival game available on the App Store. Now the link to the game will be in the description down below for iOS as well as for Android if it's available for Android. Now let's get right into it. So the looks of this game are actually really good. Uh, the graphics aren't the greatest that you've ever seen on the App Store. But there's a lot of detail, a surprising amount of detail with like items and just little tiny details that you could tell they really put a lot of time into with like the districts and the towns that you're exploring in this game. So a surprising amount of detail it kind of caught me off by surprise, but again, the graphics aren't blow your mind. Now, the music is actually really good and varied and it does fit the theme. However, sometimes while you're playing, if there's something super action packed going on, um, it doesn't match the music, and so the music will still be calm and exploratory and stuff like that. Um, so that's the only um, issue I found with the sound design, but no issue with sound design and um, art style or graphics as a whole, really good package. Now, what does the gameplay consist of? Now, if you guys have ever played Last Day on Earth, it's a zombie survival game. It's basically that, but with a huge co-op and multiplayer focus, and more depth to that. So back when I played Last Day on Earth, you built up your base by scavenging supplies, by going and raiding other people's bases, bases, um, going and raiding locations on the map and exploring and stuff like that, and continuing to build up your arsenal, your armor, your weapons, and that's basically the loop. But with this one, you're building a district, which contains shops, multiple other things, as well as a base, um, the map looks way larger, way more varied, way more different locations, um, and an emphasis on co-op. So you can join your friends in real time, and you can run into other players real time in the districts and stuff like that. So when you join your, your friends' worlds, um, you can explore together on the map, the overworld map. You can uh, gain resources together, and your character is four times stronger um, against bosses and enemies and stuff like that. So there's a huge emphasis on playing with friends, not alone. So you can do a lot of things alone by like building and establishing things on your base or your district. But whenever you're doing combat and trying to defeat bosses, it really encourages you to pair up with another player, which I think is really cool. And that's something that Last Day on Earth didn't have. Last Day on Earth was a lot of AI. So um, it, other players were taken over by AI and you weren't really fighting other players, you're fighting AI. So I think that's really cool. And plus this is a completely different theme as kind of like a Viking fantasy theme instead of a zombie theme. So that may really appeal to you guys too. Now the monetization. So when you're traveling in these overworld maps, uh, you have to wait for your player icon to reach those. And so it'll take a certain amount of real time for him to travel, him or her, depending on who you are. And um, so that can range anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes to like an hour, depending on how far away it is on the map. You can quicken this by making in-app purchases that make it so that you can just instantly travel there. There's in-app purchases for supplies and um, the materials that you'll be scavenging items instead of having to craft it and scavenge the items. It just basically quickens the entire um, process of grinding in this game. So it could be considered pay to win because it makes it easier to raid other place, people's bases and stuff like that. But I mean, it uh, compared to other monetization models, it's not that bad and it can definitely be super fun, especially if you, you have a full, full group of friends um, exploring the map together, getting loot together and growing together. So I highly suggest this to those of you who um, really liked Last Day on Earth but wanted more of a multiplayer focus or just you like the theme of Viking fantasy themed focus. Um, but yeah, link to the game is in the description down below for iOS as well as Android if it's available. Please leave a like and pop a sub if you guys are new or you enjoy mobile gaming content because that's all I make on this YouTube channel. I appreciate your guys' likes, subs, comments. It definitely helps me out and take it easy.